Hi, welcome to a new training movie for Canto Roboflow. In this training movie, today we will talk about uh, saving an XML document or the contents of an XML document uh, inside a table field of a record. I created in the catalog a, a field, a table field called action table with several uh, separate uh, other subfields and if we look in the table you can see that it here has multiple values what I want to do now is I have created a legal plugin which is completely not related to Roboflow, but it saves the selection to an XML file. I make a selection and now it has saved into a predefined uh, folder. Uh, it has saved this uh, XML file. What I now uh, want to do is I want, if we look inside this XML file, I want to store the information in this XML file inside uh, a record of Cumulus. I want this to be added to the selection. So in how does the workflow look? Well I created a hot folder uh, template workflow and this hot folder template workflow um, in the parameters I look at a subfolder called task force the one I showed here before task force and I want to only process XML files so exclamation mark dot XML and then this is what the script looks like I want to output when I'm done if the process was successful or not so I first store a variable that I call uh, process status and I put a value to it at this point I say it's unknown and then the next instruction is storing the XML file that just re arrived under a, var a variable a table called XML from file and the next step that I do is then I take that table and I store it as stored text so that I can access the content as individual tags. Then I change <clears throat> my status to invalid XML. Why do I do that? Well, if in the next step uh, it doesn't continue, then I will know that the XML was invalid. So now I test, I know that in my XML there should be a tag. In my XML there should be a tag. Let me reopen an XML file. Uh, open with Firefox. <clears throat> it has a tag called catalog ID, catalog name, record ID. So first I'm going to find the record. So what I'm doing is I'm checking if the catalog ID exists. If this exists then I know that the parsing of my XML went correctly and then I store a new text where I say catalog not found uh, because now I'm going to try to open the catalog I could use the catalog name tag um, to find the catalog and open the catalog but because I wanted to be sure of no language differences or special characters in languages that might uh, have been uh, swooped away in the XML file um, I'm using the catalog ID if you want to use the catalog ID you have to prefix it with a hash I give the open catalog a name and then I go to the next step and the next step is testing if that catalog now exists and so I say uh, I'm going to test if the result exists and the result was a catalog so my catalog what type of result I'm looking for a cumulus catalog and I'm give it a name I call it test if catalog exists uh, see 
here in the comment I always repeat this because then this becomes very easy to read. Then I'm storing here uh, that the, valid might, the query might be invalid. Why? Because in the next step I'm going to perform the query and if it fails that's the text that is going to go into the log file. So the query is based on the catalog I just opened and here it says record ID equals the record ID from the XML file and then I call that query result and then I process the records in the collection uh, in the, uh, the output variable uh, hot so every record in here will be presented as hot normally it should be only one record now I store the record name because I want to use it as a tag in my logging and then I say here I found the record but it's not processed so in the next step I'm going to try to process if I want to access uh, a subtable in Cumulus uh, I have to open that subtable so I open uh, the records subtable and it gives it a name action table field and which field the field was called action table and then I store my status and I said fail to open action table field and now I'm going to try to set the value you might have I, uh, the setting the value I first want to create a new record item I could search do a find to find a particular uh, item in there or in this case I'm doing a new record table where I I'm setting the values yeah. uh, important to mention that uh, you might remember from previous versions if you want to set multiple values at a time you can separate them simply by adding tabs in, in between and here in the value you can see I'm getting all the, the information that was in the XML file so I'm getting uh, the action name I'm getting the date I'm getting the param I'm getting and uh, all those parts are now being set into uh, that instruction okay so that's my if that is successful I will test if that ex uh, that new uh, table item exists so here I go in here and I say please test if the cumulative table field uh, record uh, exists uh, a new record in that table field does that exist if yes then I will uh, say here successful okay record name if not I will uh, close uh, and I will close uh, the table I will close the catalog and now all my processing has been done and I'm testing what the process is you remember in every step I set the process status so now I'm checking what if the process status ends with dash ok if it ends with dash ok then I know then I create a folder where I want to copy this to and this folder is uh, called task force processed and if it fails in the else I create a folder called task force failed I'm storing them both under the same variable so depending on which one was executed I will either go to one folder or the other and then finally the file I've been processing the hot file will be copied to that target folder and in the last line I'm registering logging and writing to the log the information uh, that was in that process status field all the time so that way I'm saying here tag hot which gives me the, the file name and then dash process status uh, gives me the contents of the process status so let's uh, run this example all I have to do is click here on start we already had some files in here and there you go if you want to see what he did you can do show log 
Ah, and debugging is still enabled. So it gives you a very extensive log. So hard to read. But we can check in the record, of course. It added here a new selection. And in this one as well. Ah, not in this one. Is this one then? Here it added also that uh, new selection. So that's how that works. Very straightforward, very easy. And uh, you can have you have now an example of reading an XML file and at the same time storing information into a subtable field. Please note that uh, working with subtable fields. Uh, was bug fixed in Cumulus 9, Roboflow 9.1.27. So, should you want to use this, make sure that you uh, check version info and that you have version uh, at least version 9.1.27 to use this. Thank you for joining me and see you in the next movie.